Every year, there's a couple of players that you look in the later runs of the draft that actually might end up making a roster spot and being a very good player for you in the long run. And for me, uh, that is Trey Taylor coming up out of Air Force. The seventh round pick by the Raiders, number 223 overall. The pick right before uh, MJ Devonshire that we just continue to forget. We're sorry, uh, Mr. Devonshire. He's going to be actually a really good player. I'm excited for him too. But Trey Taylor, to me, is so much more than just an Air Force prodigy coming out and making plays for you. I think, honestly, when it's all said and done, he could really do some different things for you. Uh, and I think he's going to be an absolute uh, lot of fun. But to give you a little bit more of an idea of who Trey Taylor is. So, first off, coming up out of high school, uh, he went to Frisco, Texas, is originally where he's from. But he was originally a three-star recruit where he was recruited by schools like New Mexico State, North Texas, before ultimately committing to the Air Force Academy where, uh, yeah, he didn't really get the time a day uh, starting out as a true freshman uh, coming in and uh, he redshirted it was or not a redshirt but he was uh, at least on the team as a running back and then got his chance as a safety 62 total tackles a tackle and a half for loss and an, uh, a sack and a pick uh, came back his junior season 69 tackles four and a half tackles for loss a sack and two interceptions and then finally this last year 74 tackles five tackles for loss half a sack and three interceptions for 97 yards including a pick six and to me the special thing about Trey Taylor is not the fact that he's experienced it's not the fact that he's going to have those leadership qualities coming out of the Air Force Academy that your team really likes. I think he's a highly instinctive player that could really make a push to not only make the roster, I think he could be a, a starter for you down the line. Now, do I think that this that that's this year? No, not necessarily. I think with these the change of speed, uh, the change of competition, you need to give him a little bit. I think he's going to come in on special teams and do some really good things, but I think you got to temper it a little bit. But uh, yeah, I, I think his draft profile is a little bit misleading. But here's what Zance, uh, uh, what Lance Zerline overall had to say. Taylor is a productive down safety with good size and the type of character teams will want in the locker room. He's much more effective as a short zone defender or in split safety alignment from a coverage standpoint. Taylor appears to lack the athletic profile and speed necessary to handle man coverage as a pro. He's an urgent run defender who works around blockers to make plays near the line, but he'll, all, but he'll also overrun his leverage and end up attempting too many arm tackles. Taylor has enough working in his favor to have a shot at making a roster. Now again, I understand he's a small school guy that's going to come in. He's going to get his opportunities. He's going to do what he's going to do. But I have had a man crush on, on Trey Taylor uh, the entire pre-draft process. And, yes, he's going to be a later-round guy. But I think, overall, he can carve out a niche with this Las Vegas Raiders squad. Let's face it. Guys like Trayvon Morick, we've seen some things from him. Just hasn't quite panned out yet. Like, he has not done uh, what we thought he was going to do coming up out of TCU a couple of years ago. Marcus Epps was a really good player coming up back uh, that they signed from the Eagles last year. But we still want that playmaking, ball-hawking safety that can make plays. And I think Trey Taylor is that guy. I think it's just going to take him a little bit to develop and kind of get used to the NFL game. But I think he's going to be someone you want to watch. And I think he's going to be an absolute late-round gem for the Las Vegas Raiders. But let us know what you guys think. Make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe down below. Uh, and at the end of the day, let us know what you guys think about Trey Taylor being an absolute late-round gem for the Las Vegas Raiders.